Hello, this is Rick Rogers. In the last video, we talked about how to avoid spyware and malware. In this video, we're going to talk about once we get spyware and malware, how do we get rid of it? So, first thing I want to do is I want to go to Internet Explorer. And I want to show you that I have a couple toolbars uh, in Internet Explorer. I got Radio Rage, I have Inbox Toolbar, and if I click right here, I have Sweet I Am Toolbar. And you remember in the last video we talked about if we go to Google, the search engine, and type in these toolbars, and the first couple of hits it says, this is spyware, this is malware, and how to remove it, then we know we, what we pretty much have. So now that I know for a fact that I have some type of spyware and malware on my computer, how do I get rid of it? So I want to go to Google first of all, www.google. And I'm just going to type in M-B-A-M. Okay, and so M-B-A-M is actually short for malware bytes. And if I'm not going to go up here to these, these paid links, I want to go to malwarebytes.org right here. And so once I click on it, so once I click on it, uh, this, comes, this website comes up, Malware Bytes. I can either buy the full version or I can go to the bottom and I can select the free version. For right now, all I want to do is I want to just do the free version. If you want to buy the, the full version, feel free. I believe Malwarebytes is a good product, so you can buy it if you want to buy it. But for right now, that's all I want to do is I want to click on this and download it, which I'm not actually going to do that right now because I've already installed Malwarebytes on this computer. So once I've done that, I can just I'm gonna just close this out, and you see there it is, malware bytes anti malware. And so once I click on the icon, it's a pretty pretty robust program, and it takes a few minutes to open. So I'm gonna just hang back for a minute and let it. Open. Okay, Malwarebytes program is now open. Uh, I want to draw your attention to the tab that says Update. I click on that. And I can manually go out and check for updates by clicking this button, which I want to do. You always want to make sure that you have the latest anti-spyware, anti-malware, anti-virus definitions on your computer always. And so I want to click Check for Updates. And it gives you a message that says you have the latest database version. If you don't, it'll run through, it'll download, and actually install the definitions on your computer. And once you have the update, the latest updates, you click OK. And then I want to go back over here to Scanner tab. And it says, please select the scan type below. I can perform a quick scan if I want to. But I know for a fact that this computer is heavily infected right now with spyware and malware. So what I want to do is I want to select perform full scan. And once I do that, I, I click on the scan button. And now it says select the drives to scan. I'm just going to select the C drive. Um, the D drive is actually my DVD ROM and this, this laptop. But if I want to just select the C drive, I can, I can click that. If I have a removal disk that I want to select, I can put it in and select it. Or if it's different partitions, you can select different partitions, and it, this is where you do that. So right now, all I want to do is I want to scan the C drive. So I click on scan. And now it's actually going to run through the scan. This is going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video right now, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to remove all the spyware on this computer. And then we're going to talk about another couple of things that we can actually do to help with spyware. Okay, we're back. As you notice, the scan is complete, and it says it's successful. Click Show Results to Display All Objects. I'm going to click OK. And now if I click on the Show Results button, I have 410 infections on this computer. So the only really downside to malware bytes is there's not a select all. So you mainly have to go in and select each one, which I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video as I do this again. And I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so now that I have selected all of the infections, I can look and I can ignore them. 
I can remove selected, which that's what I want to do right now. And so if I click on remove selected, it starts going through, uh, it starts deleting all these files that are infected. So in a minute, it's going to tell me to reboot, in which I'm going to do that, in which I'll pause the video at that time, reboot the computer. When I come back up, I'll show you what else is happening and, and hopefully it's removed some of the toolbars and it removed all the spyware on this computer. We might have to go in and remove some more programs and remove settings, but after that, oh, we should be good. Okay, so MBAM gives us a log and we can save that log and it'll tell, tell exactly what it removed and what it found. You see it. These are the registry keys that were detected, which was 50. Uh, memory module was detected 4. And memory process detected 7. But anyway, I, I'm just going to go ahead and close this down. And now it says urgent. You must restart your computer. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and let it at this time. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And I'll pick back up when the computer boots all the way back up. Okay, now the computer is rebooted. Uh, we come up and we see that we have immediate pop-up, so we know we probably still have some stuff on here. So let me go to my Internet Explorer. And you notice that I still have two, two toolbars. Um, this one is Sweet IM and, of course, Radio Rage. And so now, since the malware bytes didn't detect these two, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and mainly try to delete these. I'm going to go Control Panel. Add or remove programs. I'm going to mainly look for there's online vault. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. Are you sure you want to completely remove online bolt and all its components? I'm just going to click no for right now because I want to restart in just a few minutes. I'm going to go look. Uh, here's another one that says site ranker. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. It asked me if I want to restart again. I'm going to click no. Uh, sweet IM toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Uh, it tells you to hide the toolbar or to remove it. I'm going to just go ahead and remove it. Um, it, it asks you here, do you want to click to reinstall. It's trying to get you to re reinstall uh, the toolbar, which I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to close that down. And after I reboot, it'll totally remove it. Uh, Ray Array's internet toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Are you sure you want to remove the Ray Array's toolbar? Yes. Uh, it Ray Array's will completely uh, uninstall after the next reboot. Okay. And just close that out. You don't want to answer anything. They're just trying to gather more information about you. And so let's look and see if we have anything else that I see that needs to be removed. And it does not. So I'm going to go ahead and totally close down. And I'm going to restart the computer now. And I'll pick it back up in just a minute. Okay, now the computer's rebooted again. And so I've completely removed uh, Ray of Rage and Sweet IM toolbars. But I also want to draw your attention to something. Sweet IM does something a little bit different. So what I want to do is I want to remove this uh, Sweet IM totally from my registry. And so what I want to do is I want to click on Run. 
and I want to type in this command that says Ridge Edit. That's R E G E D I T. And I click OK. And so what I can do is I'm, I'm just in the registry. And I want to caution you right here. Um, once you delete something out of the registry, um, if you do not know exactly what you're doing, you can really mess up your computer. So really be careful about what you delete. So right now, um, and, and also I want to say this too, that whenever you delete something in the registry, it immediately takes effect. So be very, very careful. But for right now, what I want to do is I've, I've highlighted my computer and I go to edit and I click on find and I'm going to type in sweet I am and I'm going to hit the enter key and it starts searching the registry And you notice now you see you still see sweet I am dot exe is still on my registry, so it's still on this uh, computer. So if I'm hit the delete key, it says, "Do you want to remove this value?" And I'm going to click yes. And then if I hit the F3 key, it immediately jumps to the next sweet I am. So I can just hit delete again. Are you sure you want to delete this value? Yes. Then hit the F3 key again. And it just keeps going until you just keep going in this process until you remove everything about Sweet I Am in, inside your registry. So I'm going to pause the video right now until I until I remove all the registry keys that associated with Sweet I Am. Okay, so now the uh, scan is finished, and I've deleted all the the registry keys associated with Sweet I Am. So it says finish searching through the registry and I click OK and I'm going to just close that down because I'm through with that and so now I want to do something kind of important too so I want to click on start I want to click on all programs and I want to go to accessory and I go to system tools and I want to go to uh, this cleanup And so this takes several minutes to to calculate all the the files that need to be deleted and cleaned up on the computer. And so I'm going to pause this video again uh, while this runs through. And after that, we will come back in and we run our our malware bytes scan. We're going to update it and scan the computer again. And at that time, this computer should be infection free. If not, we might have to scan one or two more times in order to get everything off of it but this kind of gives you a really good you know five virus and, and uh, spyware and malware so um, I'll pick this back up in a few minutes okay now we're at the screen it says disk cleanup make sure you select all your files or all the check boxes in which I have and if I click on OK are you sure you want to perform these actions yes and it starts deleting all the um, all the old files off my computer. I'm going to go ahead and pause it right now and start back in just a second. Okay, so now uh, the disk cleanup is completed and I've opened up Malwarebytes again and the first thing I want to draw your attention to again is the update and I'm going to go ahead and check for updates. and you notice that it's downloading again so it's getting the latest definitions again malware bytes anti-malware uh, database was updated successfully so I can click OK now I'm going to go back to my scanner tab again and what I want to do is I want to go ahead and perform a full scan again because I want to make sure that every file gets inspected so I click on scan and ask me which drives I want to select and of course I'm just going to select C drive and I'm going to click on scan and now it's going to take a few minutes to run through the scan so I'll pause this video again and I'll pick up after the scan is complete 
Okay, so now the malware bot scan is complete. No malicious items were detected. And so we know pretty much that our computer is spyware and malware free. I want to do one more thing before I close. Um, so if I click on Internet Explorer, And what I want to do is I want to click on Tools and the Internet Options. And if I go to my Advanced tab, it says you want to reset your Internet Explorer settings. I'm going to click on Reset. And I'm going to delete all personal history. And it takes a second to complete this task. But what this does is it deletes everything inside your Internet Explorer. You know, if anything was associated with the box, toolbar, or sweet IM, then it sets it back to default. So I click on close. For a change to take effect, you will need to restart Internet Explorer. I'm going to click OK. And so now I know for a fact my Internet Explorer is clean and that this computer is spyware and malware clean. And so that's about to completely remove all spyware and malware inside a computer. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Rick Rogers. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.